Today we're gonna be ranking the best K-pop Halloween songs. Welcome to Balalalala's Halloween special. Today I'm dressed as a very cute dead butterfly. Today I bring you the conclusion of all my research, me as a K-pop scientist. For that I have created a tier list in which we're gonna be ranking 18 K-pop songs into this five categories <laughs> if i'm looking here is because this is where my computer is by the way so let me first introduce you quickly through our tiers tier number one is halloween certified banger this is top of the top this is the must have k-pop songs that you have to include in your k-pop halloween party then we have the a tier also known as it tingles the halloween girls these songs are also up there and yet they don't have superstardom status. Then we have the middle tier, which is Halloween inspired, but not committed. These are the songs that are like, you know, you can, you see the Halloween in them. They are Halloweening, and yet there is something missing. They didn't go all the way in and hence they are middle of the list. There is banger, but not Halloweenish enough. These are the songs that like my hint a little bit to Halloween but they're not really Halloween and yet they're still a banger. They're still a banger. And finally, we have Sorry, but this belongs to a different holiday. And hence, this is not a K-pop Halloween song, even though they're still pretty good. I must say like <laughs> the 18 songs on this list. By the way, random, my name is Valeria. This is Balalalala. And in this channel, we just talk K-pop. Maybe we do reactions. Maybe we do apparently rankings now. Maybe we do vlogs about concerts. Anything goes. And we love that. Ooh, why don't we start with an icon. Red Velvet's Peekaboo. First of all, Red Velvet, iconic queens of being creepy. However, Peekaboo, a bit confusing. The title, very Halloween-ish. The content of the music video, there is death, there is creepy. There is joy on a table surrounded by candles. And yet, it is Halloween, but it is not the most Halloween. And hence, Red Velvet's Peekaboo has to go on It Tingles the Halloween Girls. Why don't we keep on going with SM Entertainment for a bit? We have Exos Monster. Title? very Halloween-ish, for sure. Exos Monster was in a lot of online lists of K-pop Halloween songs, Whoa. so I was a bit surprised when I figured that is not really Halloween, what? It's like very aggressive bad boy concept, more than Halloween, and I will die on that hill. I have no other choice than to put it in banger, but not Halloween-ish enough. Fight me. Actually, you do. You can write in the comments if you disagree with what I'm saying, if you agree with what I'm saying. Ooh, we can do Shiny. This song can be nothing else than Halloween. Like, this is Halloween maximized. Truly. The story, the plot, the customs. It's like, it captures all of SM's entertainment passion for Halloween, as we have seen with their Halloween. Uh, parties and just just throws it out of the park it's a halloween certified banger it is now let's pick randomly shall we how about oh, this song this is the first song i intentionally listened to from dreamcatcher oof the aesthetics the aesthetics were so on point the song was such a party banger I was taken aback by how amazing this was. I did not know much about Dreamcatcher and I was very surprised in a pleasant way. Should it be a Halloween certified banger or should it be Added Tingles to Halloween Girls? Ooh, it's a tough call. It is a tough call. I would put it in a Tingles to Halloween Girls because maybe it has not yet reached the stardom status in this very, very objective and totally true ranking we're doing today. <laughs> How about B2B Thriller? Title? 
Halloweenish. I mean, it's literally called thriller. <laughs> However, is it Halloween or is it just the early 2010s? It is Halloween. And the reason is that the, it takes place in a cemetery and there are monsters, I think. So it is Halloweenish for sure. And the title is very thematic, but is it a must or is it a good to have? I feel like this tier over here is very exclusive. So I'm gonna put it for It Tingles the Halloween Girls, A tier for B2B. This AT song, oh, how do you even pronounce AT's? Atis? AT's. <laughs> this is AT's Wonderland. By the way, please correct me if I mispronounce names because I do that and I'm sorry. Maybe I should react to 80s actually <laughs> that was what i thought it was so good like great production and like just interesting to look at it was a banger song but it was not halloweenish i don't know why this was listed as such i think it belongs to a different holiday like independence day of some 80s land somewhere another monster on their list of songs Oh, first of all, let me say I love this song. I had forgotten this song existed and then I listened to it <laughs> and I loved it so much. Title and topic. There was Halloween inspo in the styling. We do have G-Dragon with little horn. We do also have a monster POV concept going on in the music video, but it is not fully Halloween. I think I should go put it with the other monster song. It's a banger, but it's not Halloweenish enough. That is the one more old school group, Vix Voodoo Doll. I had never heard the song before. I had never seen the music video before, and I think I was happier back then <laughs> before watching this. <laughs> uh, for some reason, this music video. Um, it, it is Halloween, but in like the scary type of Halloween. I was positively creeped out by the music video and the song. There was some kind of body horror situation going on. It was a bit graphic for me. So it is definitely, definitely Halloween. But just for the fact that it's a little bit traumatizing, I, uh, I'm gonna put it <laughs> in tier A because this is personal. I hope I am the best dead butterfly out there. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? Twice, yes or yes, queens. I honestly have forgotten that this was a Halloween theme music video, but it is a Halloween theme music video. There is like esotericism, esotericism? Like mediums divination. There are creepy vibes in a cute way. Of course, it's twice. There are costumes, good song, of course iconic yes or yes however i would say this one is another one that is clearly halloween but the fact that i forgot that is halloween tells me it shall not be in the top tier continuing with jyp entertainment let's do x ordinary heroes this was a very good song <laughs> it was and it did channel some Edward Scissorhand situation with the scissors. It had a carnival, that's Halloween points for the song. Is this Halloween or is this just Extraordinary Heroes natural creepy quirky vibes? And so it's a bit confusing. I did see the elements, however, I did not see the commitment. And hence, it's Halloween inspired, but is not committed. I rest my case. And also again, is it Exordinary Heroes? Exordinary Heroes? Why didn't I Google this before? Oh, oh my God. I think I left a lot of iconic ones for the end. We have Purple Kiss, Zombie. This is probably my favorite song of Purple Kiss. It's so good. It is perfectly Halloween, and yet I will listen to the song any other month of the year because it's just that good. It's just a great song. It's perfect Halloween. It like commits to the Halloween in like just 
banger. I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain this. If you have not listened to the Purple Kiss Zombie, what are you doing? <laughs> Make sure to check it out, it's banger. Now, we have another icon, another Red Velvet song. There's only two groups that I included twice here, and one of them is Red Velvet. We already ranked Peekaboo, but this one is Really Bad Boy, RBB for the friends. This one is... Now, now we're talking Red Velvet, how to win. Yes, it has everything. It takes place on Halloween. It has the customs, it has the settings. It has the little bit murderous intention. It has the red velvet fun elements and extra points because I love the choreo on this song. So red velvet RBB goes on Halloween certified banger. We have a BTS song. That was also included in a lot of the lists. And so I was expecting a lot considering they do such great dance practices wearing customs. This one is called Danger and is one of the old ones. So maybe it was Halloween nine years ago, this type of song. But honestly, it's great, but it's not really Halloween in my opinion. I would say, sorry, but it belongs to a different holiday. Which holiday, you ask? Slamber, because they slay the song. <laughs> this is CLC Hobgoblin. This one is a tough one, honestly, pretty tough one to rank because it's an absolute banger. I do see some inspiration. I also really like their outfits and you could wear that to a Halloween party, but it could also just be a little girl crush concept going on, you know? So I would say that it was really nice, but it was not going all the way there. So I will have to put this one on banger, but not Halloweenish enough. We shall continue. We have four songs left to rank in this scientific research about a very important festivity and K-pop, two of the things that I love. Here, disclaimer, this is FX and they are my favorite girl group of all time, no longer active, but I love them. And in one of their albums, there is this song called Dracula. It has no music video. And yet, if this is on your playlist, no matter people don't know this, they will be like, wow, my soul is now on the realm of the dead and it's partying really hard. It goes 110% towards Halloween. I mean, it's called Dracula and it's perfect and it will be S tier no matter what. It's a certified Halloween banger, even without a music video. It doesn't need it. It's everything it needs to be. It is outmost perfection. We have one more 80s song. I told you I put a gru two groups twice. The second group that I put twice is 80s because I felt like when I watched Wonderland, I was like, this is not that Halloween, but they have all the elements. They must have somewhere, somehow a Halloween song. I checked out one more video of them. I cheated a little bit because this one is technically the Halloween dance performance video. So of course it has to have Halloween elements, but yet the song itself was so Halloween. So even if I cheated a little bit, I rest assured in my truth that this one, not only is it a banger, it's a Halloween banger. This one was like the final nail on my coffin about how I'm much I need to get into 80s and discover what they have to offer because, wow, I will put it in it tingles the Halloweengles. I think this song has the potential 100% to ascend to the S tier, but at this moment in time, we shall be conservative in our approach for the sake of scientific research and the path of humankind toward truth. This leaves us with two last songs. Why don't we start with another classic of classics, Sunmi, Full Moon. It has the plot, the story, which is the same as the plot, I guess. <laughs> the costumes the colors, it has an iconic dance. So obviously 
it belongs in the Halloween certified banger. That leaves us with the final song of this very in-depth ranking of K-pop Halloween songs, which is, of course, oh guys, I have to include Stray Kids in this ranking. There's no, <laughs> as you might know if you follow my channel, I am a stay. It has a very Halloweenish music video, for sure. The costumes and the magical creatures. However, the song itself is not really Halloweenish, is it? I, d I haven't read the lyrics, so take this with a little grain of um, salt. If I watched the music video, I'd be like, yes, Halloween. But if I listen to the song, which is what I did first before watching the music video, it is not Halloween. It shall be in Halloween inspired, but not committed. So creatures of the night, we have arrived to the end of this ranking. It was very fun to do. I actually discovered songs through this and it was just so much fun. I think my ranking is definitely the truth among all the other truth, but feel free to tell me how you would rank this differently. Is there any of these songs that I put here like triggering your anger issues? Do let me know in the comments, but let's be gentle because this is just for fun. And obviously we all love Halloween and we all love K-pop. Now the question is, what shall I do for Christmas? <laughs> what is gonna be our Christmas special? Should we do the same, but with Christmas songs? <gasps> interesting, interesting. If you have any suggestions for that, just leave them below because I think Although this is an immaculate, perfect ranking, I probably missed a lot of great songs. Goodbyes from this little butterfly. Mm -hmm.